Hello Capricorn, welcome to the Mandula Awakening. My name is Kiana or welcome back if you are an existing subscriber. So today we're going to take a look at your energetic space as it pertains to Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, Venus, as well as any Capricornian ninth house placements, okay? So Spirit, can you please show us the overall energy of the connection that we are going to talk about today? What is the overall energy? Guys, here on the Manjula Awakening, we are currently doing a giveaway. Once we reach a thousand subscribers, we are going to go live. Uh, give these three beautiful decks away as well as answer some free personal questions. So if you guys would like to um, be entered into that drawing, all that we ask you to do is hit the subscribe button. That's it. That's all. And we look forward to seeing you all there. So the energy of the connection that we're going to speak about today is the star card, the, her the hermit, and the strength card. <clears throat> Excuse me. So there could be something significant about eight here. Nine, eight, eight, nine. I'm sorry. Eight, nine, eight could be very significant as well. Um, but anyways, uh, nine, eight, eight as well. Um, spirit, what is the message for Capricorn? It looks like that this connection, it... There's, it's. I feel like that there's this loss of hope here. Like I do feel like that this is a connection that is in a place of despair. It is in need of some healing. However, instead of the healing actually, like I just feel like that there's a lack of faith in this connection. And I feel like that people have, you know, pulled back their energies. There's a lot of solitude energy here. Um, and give me just one second. Y'all, my son, he didn't want this message to get out. He was doing that on purpose, standing right at the door looking at me. But anyways, um, because I told him they couldn't have uh, a suite this early in the morning. But moving forward, um, so I feel like that this energy has separated and there is a lack of this there's a lack of confidence that this is going to come back together you know what i'm saying with this particular leo version i do feel like that there could be like with the positive movement forward here at the bottom of the deck i do feel like that things are moving in a new direction here inside of this connection uh capricorn um you did show it very strongly in leo's reading and we have strength here so leo energy there so it could be very significant okay or something is going on in, with your leo in your birth chart okay um but i feel like that this solitude was needed in order for like i feel like that there was this energy of even though this is this is meant to be depicted straight down the middle, of course, when you look at the lion's face, it overpowers. It looks like it's more than half of the face of, of the man, right? And, and I feel like that that's because there's this energy of struggling to balance the two out here. And that's what this solitude was meant to do. But I feel like that in this solitude, there is a sense of despair that is setting in. But let's go ahead and pull your person's energy. See how they're showing up in this connection. So far on the board, we do have Aquarius, Virgo, and Leo. Spirit, can you please show me how Capricorn's person is currently showing up? Ooh, that's way too many spirit. Let me shuffle and break these cards up. Spirit, what is how is this person showing up? Okay. So wow, yeah, you may benefit from watching that Leo reading for sure. So your person is showing up. They could be a, a Sagittarius, um, but doesn't necessarily have to be um, at all. Um, but I feel like that this is your person is showing up as the nine of wands in the four of cups so I, like this person is honestly if I could be honest I feel like that right now this particular person is trying to move forward and in one way or another what this person is fully aware of is what's going on right now 
they are not happy. So what this person is aware of is that they're not like whatever is currently going on around, they're not happy. And I do feel like that this person is exhausted with not being happy. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that this person is is understanding that I'm not happy right now. And I feel like that up until this revelation that this person is having is like they've been focusing on because the four of cups it really does speak it speaks about missing a present opportunity an opportunity in your present moment because you're focused on the past so i feel like that this person that you're dealing with capricorn is under like they're right now it's like i'm not happy right now and i'm and, and 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 whatever the fuck i've been doing up until this moment i can't keep doing it because this ain't working for me. Like, I, I really do feel the energy of this person just being like, my tries, like, what the fuck am I doing wrong is what I'm feeling from this person. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just feel like that this person has reached their breaking point as to being unhappy. This person is desiring to get to a place of happiness. Okay. And, you know, honestly, honestly here, I feel like that, you know, this is for this person this is starting with the judgment you know this is self-evaluation so i do i feel like that this person is actually beginning yeah the ace of swords i feel like that this person is actually doing some self-evaluating to understand that the clarity that they need the truth and the honesty to their happiness does lie within them if they want to change in their circumstances then i feel like that this person is realizing that they have to do some self-evaluating it's time to begin to reevaluate their vision here so let's see how is capricorn showing up how is capricorn showing up here inside of this connection spirit How is Capricorn showing up here? Thank you, Spirit. Y'all keep on wanting to come out with the book. Spirit, can you please show me how Capricorn... No, you just... Y'all just doing too much. The Nine of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups. So... Oh, So Capricorn, I've got you focusing on your stability, honestly. And, you know, the Nine of Pentacles, is it does speak about a reward for your efforts. Like this is um, an achievement. So Capricorn is showing up as, you know, like, I, I feel like that Capricorn, there's this, this is despair here. There's like the energy of this connection as well. It's like, I feel like that we're talking about two people that want to be like, it's like I I'm I don't know why, but the song just came in. The fight to be right. I don't know why, but anyways. But I feel like that there's two people inside of this connection that are um like hell bent and, and holding on, trying to make this like as stubborn as these people are, it's like they're stubbornly holding on to try to make this work. But at the same time, it's like we have two nines here. Both of you guys have a depiction of nine here. So there's three nines here and there's three eights on the board. So take that as it resonates, guys. Um, but it's like I have Capricorn showing up is really focusing on their own trying like feeling unstable and trying to get to a place of being stable i have a capricorn that is no longer trying to invest themselves emotionally inside of situations that throw them off that that throw a ratchet into their stability you know what i'm saying now um We have the Wheel of Fortune here at the bottom of the deck. And what that's telling me is not only do you, I feel like that you could benefit from the um, Sagittarius reading, uh, but I do feel like what and what that's telling me is that this isn't the end for this connection. It's still not the end for this connection. And but there is like there's this in order to have the mind the mindsets have to switch the sense of despair or focusing on the past is really 
taken the life right out of this connection that nobody's willing to let go of. Okay, so let's just call this spade a spade. Um, and let's let's do some clarifying. Let's see why is Capricorn's person showing up in the nine of wands and the four of cups? Why are they showing up this way? Why is Capricorn showing up this way? Actually, I keep on saying Sagittarius is reading, but it was the Leo reading. I've only done Leo this morning. It was the Leo reading, guys. But Sagittarius showed up pretty strong there as well. Okay. All right, Spirit. So why is Capricorn's person showing up as the Nine of Wands here? So, we, wow, the Four of Cups, Four of Cups, the King of Wands, and the Six of cups I, I don't know why but i feel a strong like this person has sagittarius highly aspected capricorn whoever it is that you're dealing with um it's not a lot of sag energy here but i'm feeling it um so we have the four of cups the the king of wands and the six of cups here so you know this person is reflective like this i Slow down, Kiana. There are a lot of messages coming in. Look at this. Go watch that Leo reading for me. Leo, Leo, Leo. Um, just throwing that out there, Capricorn. But, okay, so this person is aware that there's been a lot of focus on the past, okay? And, and it's like this person is now aware or they're getting ready to waltz right into that energy very, very soon um, that, that the way that they have been handling the present moment has been reflective of the way that their past like it's been based off of their past and when this person has this epiphany it's almost as if they it's it's immediate like i, I just feel like this person takes some heated action towards that ace of cups that they've been touching all along okay now one thing that is very concerning about this is that when the king of wands moves rationally he really does or you know like when it's that get up and go energy it really does take on this weak ineffective leadership mentality right so whatever vision this person presents it's it it this it's not a solid it's not solid okay and 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 that's because it's like this person in in their mind is like they're trying to make up for lost time like damn i can't believe i've been touching my opportunity this whole time and i didn't notice it and i didn't give it so then it's like they go into um uh recovery mode you know uh what do they call it when um a, a publicist is trying to clean up after their artist just completely imploded in public and now they have to go in and clean and clean that shit up like i feel like that that's what that's the energy that i'm feeling from this person here and so this person is needing some restraint here right um and so i feel like that there's a need to be mindful of that. Let me just leave that there and finish clarifying this person. Let me see how is this person, what is this person's true and authentic emotions as it pertains to Capricorn here? And guys, this is a general message. So Capricorn, you may resonate with this energy more than you are resonating with this side, okay? All right, Spirit, how does this person truly and authentically feel as it pertains to Capricorn? Ooh, the Seven of Swords in their thoughts is the Page of Wands. You, you are going to have some communication from this person at the bottom. I, I'm telling you, this person, like, don't move too fast, okay? Don't move too fast in this because they're still... Um, 
emotionally this person is is i feel like has a hidden agenda we don't have the high priestess so far but i just like there's a strategy to this person's movements here okay um there's a strategy to this person's movements uh and 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 i feel like that if capricorn isn't if Capricorn doesn't stay focused on their own material and financial stability, even if it has nothing to do with money or anything like that, focus on getting yourself stabilized emotionally. Don't allow, like, walk away from the past emotional baggage. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not saying that that is, but just in case this person plans on trying to pull at your heartstrings based off of something that happened in the past, if you yourself focus on getting yourself grounded and stable emotionally, then it won't, then this person's strategy to pull on those heartstrings won't this person's rash behaviors won't be able to affect you and, and put you in this place of despair, okay? But I do feel like, like as far as this person's thoughts as it pertains to you, I do feel like that this person wants to, um, like, this person, I feel like they're, they're going to take this adventurous route like I don't know this person may send you a message asking you to go on an adventure with them I don't know <laughs> like go on a journey with them or something but there's definitely a message that's going to be um, sent and it's because this person feels like they've had a sudden revelation on how they've been too focused on the past and not so much paying attention to the present moment and they feel like that they're missing an opportunity or that a, a, a powerful opportunity is slipping through their fingers. So there is some type of strategy. Okay, let me just move forward. Okay. Whew. Let's get over here to Capricorn. Why is Capricorn in the energetic space of the nine of pentacles and the eight of cups here? Don't forget to hit the smash button if you're resonating. I mean, smash button. Don't forget to hit the like button, guys, if you're resonating with us. It does help get these messages circulated to other Sagittarians in need spirit. I mean, Capricorn. <laughs> so we have the seven of pentacles and the five of swords and the knight of swords. <laughs> So, you know, honestly, we just got to be honest here. Capricorn is showing up and be mindful. Just be mindful of where you're planting your seeds, okay? Um, I do feel like that just as much as this person is coming in with this strategy, I feel like that Capricorn is, at the end of the day, there's... Capricorn is going to focus on like, well, where can I benefit in this as well? Okay. So I feel like that, you know, just remember what you put into something is what you ultimately get out of it, Capricorn, you know? Yeah, see, like I, I, I just feel like that. So even with the strategy that this person is planning on coming, like this person is having this epiphany, they're feeling like that there's this opportunity in the present moment and they're, they're just know that where they're at and what's going on in their life, they're not happy. Okay. And so it's like this person is having this revelation that there's, this person is going to try to seize an opportunity. Thank you, spirit. Simple as put. This person is going to try to seize an opportunity in this present moment. And then I've got Capricorn here like, okay, well, while this person is seizing a moment, how can I benefit out of this as well? And that's what I got. <laughs> it's like Capricorn's like, I'm not even going to focus on the emotional part of it no more. Fuck that shit. How can I benefit from, like, how can I capitalize off of this moment? Okay. So how does Capricorn, uh, what is Capricorn? true emotions as it pertains to this uh, other person on the table here spirit <laughs> y'all a mess Cappy so I'm going to get the Capricorn's emotions and thoughts as it pertains to this person on the board 
So we have the Nine of Wands and the Queen of Swords. So, you know, a Capricorn, <laughs> the Seven of Swords, absolutely. I knew how I felt. Um, I'm, I'm here to let you know that at the end of the day, I do feel like that um, without the restraint of you guys going at this strategy, there's there's a Ten of Swords that's ultimately going to be the result of this, okay? Um, but emotionally, you feel wounded. Capricorn feels like that this person has wounded them. And, you know, emotionally, Capricorn feels wounded by this person. Simple as put. And your thoughts is, it's just about cutting away the things that, no, like, if it don't bring, if it, if you can't benefit from it, you're just not going to invest, like, your thoughts, in order for you to entertain this situation, you have to be able to benefit from this, you know, the Five of Swords, Queen of Swords, this is, uh, how can I benefit from this, you know what I'm saying, um, if it's not beneficial to me, I'm cutting that shit out, and so I do feel like that if this person's strategy is beneficial to you, then I think that you'll entertain it, um, but I don't feel like that it's, I don't feel like it has the best intention. I do feel the need to say that there is a need to reflect on this predator versus prey here. This is what I'm feeling inside of this connection, Capricorn. But let's just go ahead and get your outcome and move on up out of here. What is the likely outcome for Capricorn and the person on their mind? So the energy that I have strongest are the energies that are showing up here. Um, I, uh, You know, the irony of the situation is... There's no majors here. There's no majors here. This is your person's energy. This is your energy. The energy of the connection is where the majors lie. And that's because there are some lessons that this connection is, is teaching both of you all. But you, both of you guys are well within the uh, wheelhouse of free will here. And, you know, the universe is kind of like, you know, let, pull their hands back up and said, may the best man win here. And this connection is really what I feel. Okay. But I do have Aquarius, uh, Virgo, as well as Leo here. Strong, strong Leo. I'll tell you who's reading I'm going to do next after I pull the likely outcome of your connection. Spirit, what is the likely outcome for Capricorn and the other person in this reading? So we have the King of Pentacles, the Star card. So we'll do Aquarius next. We have Pisces here in the Hanged Man. We have Cancer here in the Moon card in the Three of Swords. I knew it. I, 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 the Ten of Wands at the bottom of the deck. There's too much gameplay here for there to be success. Like I do, like I feel like that, you know, there's something here about... Um, shall I put this as elegant as possible um, there's too much focus here on the there's too much possessiveness here and there's too much focus on possession okay um, but uh, I think that things will I think things have the possibility to work for a while and then you know you're right back at square one where you're forced to face the three of swords. The three, the same three of swords that one is turning their back on here and not and deciding not to address. You know what I'm saying? Like there's clearly some emotional wounding here, but it's like something is too beneficial for um, Capricorn or whoever's resonating with this side to like something is just too beneficial to be passed up. So someone decides to put their emotions like to withdraw the emotional aspect even though they're very well wounded and at the end of the day I just feel like that there is this three of swords that gets nailed in just a tad bit deeper you know what I'm saying just as the woundings may have begun to be mended it's like they're reopened up again so and it all stems back to this not quite being honest you know what I'm saying like there's some decept a lot of deception at play here and trying to just win at all costs like how can I benefit if anyways I'm gonna leave that there Capricorn I pray that these messages provided you with some guidance on your journey if these messages did resonate it resonate or you found some guidance we would appreciate the thumbs up down below as it does help get these messages spread out to other Capricorns in need and in all that we say and in all that we do moving forward, guys, let's choose peace. Loving Light Cap.